Good morning again, my friendly Spoonies and everyone else and also dogs. A doggy like that with the cutest, greenest eyes in the world. Welcome to Vlogtober Day Boat. It's about 3.30 p.m. I'm, as you may have noticed, not in my bed. I'm in my parents' bed or this room's bed. After I left you last night, I tried to edit day three. Had some difficulty, technical things. Not that I don't know how to fix things. It's just fixing things takes time. Thanks for being patient on day three and subsequently today. I hope you're well. I'm freaking working on it. I definitely feel... Oh, I took an emergency Valium last night for my muscle spasms because they were just out of control. That's like my emergency Valium. Like I haven't even had one at all this whole year. And my adrenaline was going crazy. All I needed was one single good night's sleep at night instead of in the day. I've woken up about three hours earlier than I have on my current sleeping schedule, so I'm trying to get it back on an even keel. Is Daisy in here? No. Oh, oh, she is? Okay. The electric company's here working, and the gates are open. Oh, Jesus. Well, Levi was in the front yard waiting for me. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just... sorry. Oh, no, okay. I'm sorry <laughs> that I didn't get your text. I was vlogging like an idiot. I'm sorry. I just need to get my heart rate down again. No, this is good drama for the vlog. <laughs> Levi, oh. you're a good boy, and now I know that you wouldn't run away. Oh. I'm sweating. <gasps> Levi, did you have an adventure? You did? Oh. So the agenda for ATM is going and getting my hair cut. <sighs> because that's the thing that needs to happen, and I actually feel up to it, so amazing. Mom has almost recovered. <gasps> My eye. To prepare to leave the house, blueberry juice with electrolyte concentrate that I will link down below. It's like Gatorade from scratch. <coughs> oh yeah, that's my chronic cough. I'm watching Total Divas because I'm trash. Also, fun fact, I went to the same dance studio as Trinity um, or Naomi on the Divas. And I've got... Hello! You're my daisy dog. I'm just gonna rest and drink my drink and then I'm gonna shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, blah blah blah, but I'm too tired to show you, so I'll just see you in the car. Ooh, I look like a skeleton. Ooh. I took a shower. I put clothes on. You girls were in jeans for the first time in like six months. <laughs> a year. Taking a rest. We can do this, fam. I don't know why keeping up with my hair is important to me. But like my friend Jessica, I feel like the first step to like feeling your best is attempting to look your best. Sorry, my, I'm like monotone. The good news is I fixed my hard drive problem. Also, 10 out of 10 for the after effects of Valium and that dopamine. <sighs> Makes me feel just like normal. Not that I'm gonna take Valium like every day, but I'm just saying. Now I'll for real see you in the car. <laughs> I've got two very calm service dogs in this car. Well, Levi's down there. We're gonna get our hair cut or going to get my hair cut because we're on a trip. I tell the story. As soon as I started brushing Levi and Iris figured out we were going someplace, she was fighting her way in to get brushed as well. And then after all the brushing was done, I, as soon as I got her harness down, she came and stood right next to me by my left side and didn't move. She stayed right with me everywhere I went as if she was on a lead until I put her vest on and then she stood at perfect attention waiting for her lead to be clipped on. So cute. Levi alerted while we were in the hair appointment for a fatigue crash about, it was like 20 minutes ago, and now I'm sweating, cheeks are red, stomach is hurting. 
headache, the whole nine fatigue crash yards. Iris did great. Mom worked with her most of the time and then I finished up to end it on a positive note, which worked out really well. But now we're gonna go pick up a new hard drive at Best Buy, yay! Levi's assuming the position. Iris, are you looking out? Made it to the Best Buy. Iris is not quite ready to go into Best Buy, so we're waiting in the car. I am literally insane. Pill time. We got the goods. Thanks. I'm excited. See you at home. Right, Levi? See you at home. I'm the Levi. <sighs> I'm gonna rest, get undressed, and put some more pictures. It's like amazing to me how I can't leave the house for like days and days and then I can leave the house with them. Trust me, I'm sick of my shit too. Hi Jesus! You're being good. Murphy is learning to share. Good boys. Good sharing. Murphy? Good boys. You guys are cute. Oh, well now leave I got it. <laughs> what you making? I'm making honey sesame tempe. Ooh. I'm really excited because I never hardly get to have food I've never had before. It smells fantastic. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Murphy, okay. That's it, that's all there is, Murphy cans. There's your girls, Murphy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Are you gentle, Murphy? Good boy. It's done. She. I'm doing it. Woo! It spilled the rice. You okay? Mm hmm. It's good, though. I spilled the rice. Some post. Dinner snuggles and <sighs> pressure and kisses and Shark Tank and hangouts. Resting after a long day's work. It's around 11 o'clock and I wanted to say goodnight and thank you for watching Vlogtober. Me and Daisy are very glad you found us and for just like one second, I wanted to talk about how sometimes I get discouraged with social media, how I'm just not like everyone's cup of tea because like I'm weird and I'm tired. I've just been feeling really uninspired with social media and that's why I've been vlogging so much. I love Levi's account and it brings me a lot of joy but it also brings me a lot of stress. I'm just like too tired to do it all. I'm too tired to run my Instagram and Levi's Instagram and this YouTube channel and like it's almost like at this point like Instagram is like an obligation for me. Not something I do because I like it anymore. Not something I do because I want to share anymore. I just prefer to share on YouTube where I can explain myself. Sometimes I'm like, why do I even bother? Like, why do I even care about sharing my journey and stuff? It seems so stupid sometimes, but I really love making videos. I just hate feeling like I'm such a strong, capable person, but I'm not in a place where I can be strong and capable in every single area of my life. Something someone said to me the other day, like, they don't know me super well, and they they were commenting just like based on my social media and they were like, you know, don't let your illness rule you. Their judgment, I feel like, was based on social media a little bit. Social media is my way for me to express myself about my illness. That doesn't mean that I let it rule me. It makes me a little bit defensive because I feel like I work so hard to be other things besides my illness. But like, let's be real here. Like when you're sick like this, and you're waiting for an appointment, you're just like at a standstill. Your illness does rule your life, it does. The amount of pain I'm in and the amount of fatigue I have and whether or not I hate myself today or I think everyone else hates me is out of my control. I meditate, I do everything I'm supposed to do, I take my medicines, I am doing all the things. And my Lyme doctor basically, the one in Orlando, he's just keeping me comfortable until my appointment in January at IN. And I am in Miami and I just hate feeling like not good enough like I hate feeling discouraged in sharing myself with the community like it makes me feel like like there isn't a place for me sometimes I can't go out
hell every day and like my life is up so up and down and I, I just feel s stupid sometimes being open. Like I want to be an open book but I also want people to want to read the book in order for me to write it. What do you mean by that? And I'm like, I don't know. There was a time when I used to make speeches and they had a train of thought and they made sense. Well, this is the longest outro ever. Sometimes you're just on the floor. Thanks for watching me floundering and trying to do my best with what I've got and handle judgments, trying not to let other people's judgments and my own like negative self-talk like get in the way. If you're physically weak, then you're mentally weak and it's hard to balance those things when all I want to do is help people and live my life. I'm gonna get to editing. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you being here if you're here still. Okay, okay bye.